But if you guys go ahead and take a look at this, and if you guys look, I can plug it in up there if you need me to, or if you plug this in your grout calculator, um, the function square root of x looks something like that. Okay, If I'm not going to fall asleep and simply have x minus 2, that's just going to shift the graph two units to the right. Does everybody follow me? Yes? All right. Now, oh. Okay. So, as we approach um, 2 from the positive, so from 2 from the positive, so in here, what is the f of x value that I am approaching from the right hand side? f of x value, what value am I approaching? The f of x. I'm going down f of x, right? You're approaching the f of x value, which f of x value is up or down, which in this case is going to be 0. However, if you guys look at this, if we approach from the left-hand side, do we have a left-hand side? There's not even a graph on the left-hand side, right? It's not like it's not, it's, it's not that it's not continuous. It is a continuous function. But there is no left-hand side. So this does not exist. And then, furthermore, if we're looking at the general limit, if I don't have a function that approaches from the left and the right-hand side, then we can say that the general limit also is does not exist. Okay, I'm going to go by off of that uh, definition. I have been told that or I was, you know, that some other textbooks do 